Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel. Hope everybody's having a great week up to this point as we move towards another great, great weekend of racing. I want to give a real quick shout out to one of our uh, viewers. I haven't seen him on our channel, but Rich Azar, I believe his name is. Mr. Richie, hey, thanks so much. Um, I made a few mistakes today. Uh, you know, either with the graded race or the points or the uh, pronunciation of horse's name. And again, one of the reasons that I love our community is that we do it with class and, you know, we continue to learn and you guys help me so much, you know, it's a lot of work and I really, I'm really humbled by that. But, but more so, you know, you hold me accountable as if you're in my life, we do that to each other. So Richie, thanks a bunch, man. Please keep watching. We really do appreciate it. Uh, this is a, a, a passion of love for us and a hobby, obviously, that we do. And, um, again, man, we love to have some fun, make a few shackles, and we ain't going to do it like nobody else, you know. We're going to just have some fun because racing should be fun. But thanks a bunch, Rich. But, you know what? Turn your clothes captured on. That's right. I do a lot of things with the editing as, uh, you know, I always misspell stuff as well. So... You know, fairgrounds, all attention's on fairgrounds. Obviously, you know, the uh, Risen Star is over there and the Rachel Alexandra grade two stake race over there. And, um, but they have six stake races and the two undercard stake races are unlisted. It's one in the ninth race, which we're going to take a look at right now, the Albert M. Stahls uh, Memorial Stakes. Um, you yeah, know, rest in peace, Mr. Stahls. And of course, his son, Albert Stahls Jr., uh, you know, is still training. But the ninth race is for four-year-olds uh, and up fillies and mares, going a mile and 16, 400,000. Very, very nice field here in the ninth race, man. And Fairgrounds got a really nice card. I hope the weather holds up over there. And I think that's where I'll turn my focus all day to, uh, even though there's a lot of things going on. So let's dive into this Albert M. Stalls race, which is race number nine, a mile and 16 on a turf Phillies and mares, four-year-olds and up. And number one, pass the plate. Shocked me last time, pass the plate, the number one horse. You know, 21 starts, five wins in uh, two seconds and seven thirds. And McGee is our trainer of record. Pedroza is in the orange. And this horse got up on the January 22nd at Fairgrounds by a nose at eight to one. Um, you know, in the, in the Mary, in the Marie G. Kravitz Stakes, and uh, I was kind of shocked. He beat us gone in that race, and uh, the horse is currently three to one on the morning line, past the plate. I think that was just too big of an effort for past the plate, and I don't like him here, so I'm going to throw past the plate off, even though he did beat uh, Ascon, who was in this race, uh, and of course, um, Adelaide Miss, who's a Brittany Russell's horse, and out of sort, another Brittany Russell horse. But past the plate, number one, that means always been a very nice horse, uh, bridesmaid most of the time, but ran a huge race last time, and we're going to bounce him off that race. So past the plate at three to one, particularly after we got eight to one last a uh, couple weeks ago, January 22nd. Let's throw past the plate off the ticket. The number two horse, Mo Normal. The old Mo Normal horse. This is a problem. This horse got 12 starts and only one win. Three seconds and two thirds. And I tell you right now, there's really nothing I like about this horse at all. I'm not going to spend no time on Mo Normal, the number two. He's 20 to 1. The speed figures are horrible. He just doesn't line up. There's four or five of them in this race just like this. What, you know, it takes about 30 seconds to look and know I won't be back. No, man, I wouldn't be recommending him. So that's the case with the number two, Mo Normal. We don't like him in this spot today at 20 to 1. That's the number three horse. We talked a little bit about the number three horse, Abscon, when we were discussing the one past the plate. And I bet Abscon, and if you go back and watch my video in that Marie rabbit stakes you know i like this horse a bunch and i was shocked the way this horse ran adam but is up and abscon has uh 15 starts two wins four seconds and three thirds he's developing or she's developing this habit to run thir uh, second and third a bunch and that last race is almost too bad to be true i mean she ran six by four 
behind pass to play, and she was 3-2 to two that day. I was really, really disappointed. So I expect a better effort this time from Ascon here. I'm going to consider that race a non-effort. It shouldn't have knocked her out because she didn't run a step. So it shouldn't have really took anything out of her. And her race is 2-3 and three back. Her number is going against uh, going global uh, uh, Princess Grace. Uh, blowout, Regal Glory. I mean, those are very, very nice turf horses to be competing with and be, you know, relatively running with. So she should have really beat that field last time they ran together. So I think we owe it to her. Everybody has a bad day like I did today by mispronouncing horses and stuff like that. And I'm going to give a Scon another chance. Um, probably be my second or third uh, pick here. This horse deserves another chance. That race was too bad to be true for sure. That's number three. Seven to two. So, you know, the morning line guy went right back in there and made the horse favorite as well uh, in this race. That's the number three horse. Scott. Well, out of sorts. I like this horse and of course I'm kind of being a homer here. Everybody knows that I support our female trainers and jocks and everybody on the back stretch. Uh, you know, I mean, this is a horse out of sort, the number four, uh, 12 starts, three wins, two seconds, and one third. And this horse is trained by Brittany Russell, one of the, uh, one of my uh, female trainers that I follow closely in the Virginia and Maryland circuit. Of course, uh, Sheldon Russell is her husband, and Brittany's a young trainer who knows her business. And I like out of sort here. Uh, she comes out of that same race on the 22nd of January. We're past the plate, won the race. And, you know, this horse got bumped in the gate, had a little traffic, um, had a off jock on him. Um, and today have Louis Saez up, was making up some ground, does have a beautiful closing kick. And it looks like this race has a lot of speed signed on to it here. So the number four may be sitting in a beautiful, beautiful spot, particularly if they go fast up front and they ding-dong a little bit. I believe Brittany Russell has two horses in here that could run one-two for sure in here. And out of sort is going to be one of my top two plays here. And then eight to one with Louis Saez getting the board for the first time or going around this turf course. It's going to be pretty hard for you to stop me from betting out of sorts in this spot along with my girl Brittany Russell. Of course, we like out of sort here at, at, for sure. The number five horse, she can't sing. I never heard the girl sing before. But the number five is an old timer. Ah, not that old. The five year old mare has 26 starts, four wins, six seconds, and four thirds. And Chris Block is our trainer. And there's that man again in the odds, the old Love Barry. I like that name, you know. The horse is by Bernardini. And I don't know if she can sing or not, but she surely don't look like she can run with this much. I'm telling you, the number five is in a whole bunch of heap of trouble up in here, right? I don't like the five at all in here. She can sing. Love the name, but she won't be ringing or singing or jingling no bells in the winter circle. You know, I would be shocked, you know. But weirder things have happened in the game of horse racing. Let's throw the number five, she can't sing, out. Well, here's the second uh, Brittany Russell horse. Um, Adelaide Miss. Adelaide Miss is quick, fast, and she is in a hurry. You know speed is king. Look over my shoulder. Speed is king. You can't teach it. Some people got it. Some people just don't. And Adelaide Miss, the number six horse at eight to one, trained by the wonderful Brittany Russell, has more speed than you can endure. It looks like she's short in strides coming down the lane, you know. But again, she exits that same, um, um, Marie uh, Kravitz stakes where past the plate shocked me when he won to beat up Scon. And she took him three quarters of a way around uh, Adelaide Miss and got short in the last uh, 16th of a mile at 14 to 1. And it was a good track. Maybe it had some give in it or whatever. But again, she's going to be on the muscle once again. The speed figures not once, not twice, not three times. She keep repeating them. So I know that speaks to ability and not a one-off or aberration. So again, I think the number six horse is just as viable 
for Brittany Russell as the number four out of sort. I like both of these horses equally in here. One's going to be on the front, and the other one's going to be coming from downtown with Louis Saez up. And so, I mean, and they're both eight to one. I mean, how are you going to shake a stick at that? You can't. I mean, I like this horse, Adelaide Miss. And, of course, she'll be one of my top two picks in here. I'm Brittany Russell, Brittany Russell in this race all the time. So... But continue to watch the video as well. The number seven horse, Dawn Dancer. Well, the old dancer horse, this five-year-old mare by Curlin. No, you didn't say it. I did say that the number seven is by Curlin. Dan, uh, Dawn's Dancer, 14 starts, two wins in four seconds and one-third. Well, Mr. Davis is our trainer of record here. Let's see what Davis this is. This is Christopher Davis, pretty decent trainer at a 15% clip. And he got the services of Jose Ortiz. Now, anytime a top jock lands somewhere, you always want to pay attention to that because, you know, they get the pick of the litter. And the mere fact of the matter is that this horse is exiting a handicap race off the synthetic at Gulfstream Park. But too bad. You know, I mean, the horse ran really well in the uh, Swanee River Stakes race on the grass at Gulfstream on December 18th. And, I mean, there were some really, really nice horses in there. Sweet Melania was in there. Shifty She was in the race and in a hurry. I mean, the horse was making up a ton of ground coming down the lane. Now, I wouldn't necess tell, necessarily tell you that the number seven Dawn Dancer is the top pick in here because you know that's not the case for me. But I would tell you at uh, eight to one, which I still think is a little light relative to what I believe her win probability is in our database, but I would use her underneath and try as an exactness. That is the number seven. Dawn Dancer. Amiche, well, the number eight horse Amiche is five to one, trained by who? Dec Vex, uh, Mr. DeVex. And I think it's a very, very nice horse by Malibu Moon. Got seven starts, two wins, two seconds. And Mr. Brian Hernandez is up. This horse is quite speedy. I think this is a horse that's going to actually try to run with Brittany's horse, the number six Adelaide Miss, out of the gate. The speed figures are just as good. And again, anybody that's taken a positive position on a Miche, uh, by Malibu Moon. I'm not mad at you. Brian Hernandez, of course, you know, is a top rider. He knows his business. And this horse is very, very good. Already beat Moon Normal in here. Uh, Dawn Dancer got the best of him too bad. Trying State Company running a second in the last race, December 27th. So again, not going to be one of my top picks, but it surely, surely is going to be hard to leave a Miche off the ticket, particularly if I'm playing horizontally. I like the number eight a little bit here as well, and it's a serious contender, so you just can't throw this horse off the ticket. I mean, this is a very lightly, lightly raced four-year-old, and uh, with only seven starts and two of her wins, and Amiche looks like she's going to continue to improve and could could make some work uh, of it here. The number nine horse, I hear you. Well, the number nine, I hear you, is 15 to one on the on on the uh, morning line. 14 starts, three wins, two seconds. Uh, Brendan Walsh is our trainer of record. It is not a Godolphin horse. I mean, every time you say Brendan Walsh, you just, or at least I do, think Godolphin right away. And again, I hear you, the number nine has won three of 14. The horse is by street sense, and that's fairly well, and it's fairly good. The horse had run on the dirt last time, originally scheduled for the turf. Two back on the synthetic, speed figures are horrible, and three back on the turf in a grade three uh, stake race, uh, which was the Rod and Riddle uh, stake race, and didn't run that well, and the speed figures doesn't really match up. Now, the horse has enough speed from the nine hole to get out, not to clear them, but to be wide into the first turn. To me, the enemy of horse racing on the racetrack is ground loss. Of course, you all know that already, so I'm always leery of taking horses that have enough speed to just get out third or fourth, and they go into that uh, first turn three or four wide. And when these races, particularly turf races, are so competitive, you can't give up ground to horses that are saving ground. So, you know, I'm always 
leery of taking a horse from outside unless they can get out, get over, relax, and take off. You know that's my saying, right? And I don't think that's the case with number nine, I hear you. So I'm going to go ahead and throw her out, all right? Number nine. And the last horse in the, in the race, uh, Drapes. Uh, I remember the name, but I don't remember this horse. Um actually you know but there's something about this horse that always come up for me she only has eight starts she's a five-year-old which tells me there's something going on she's won three of them and ran second twice mr baker is our trainer of record who is it james baker james e baker and again you know she's outside she has enough speed to be uh, wide into the first turn. Her speed figures aren't that great in the, to start with. Uh, she is by American Farrell and she's 10 to 1. So, again, you know, I'm always leery of these horses on the outside and they already uh, are up against it uh, two and a half, three lengths just from a speed figure. They are young, but not this one. What concerns me about Drapes uh, drapes is that it's eight starts as a four or five year old that's something's going on this horse hasn't raced enough to be five but again the times that she has raced she's won three of them and ran second so it's hard to knock it but I'm going to knock her here I want to knock her from the ten posts and say I'm not going to do anything with her way out there and the speed figures are already a cut below which means she would have to improve if she had a better post so again you, I hope you understand why I don't like drapes in this spot. Now, you can always justify using them underneath if you're trying to complete exactors and tries, and these horses are double digit. Anybody can suck up for third or fourth in the super or like that. So, there is your ninth race stake race, which is the Albert Stahl uh, Memorial. It is a field of 10. And I'm going to go ahead, it's going to be me and Brittany Russell. I really like the number four horse out of sorts here to come um, running and to beat these. I love the job change to Louis Saez. What an upgrade here. Uh, even though she does exit that same race that passed the plate, exit out of and uh, Adelaide Miss, the, her stable mate ran third in. I'm going to have uh, out of sorts turn the table on this bunch here uh, for Brittany Russell. And she's going to be my top pick, the number four. And, of course, my second pick is going to be a Brittany Russell. No, you didn't just say you got Brittany, Brittany, exacta. That's what I got. The number six horse, Adelaide Smith, is the speed. And we know what speed is. Some people have it. And some people just don't. And this horse, Adelaide Smith, is very, very fast. And they're giving me eight to one on the horse. And, you know, we're going to see how she runs with Mr. Hernandez up in the arts and you know so we like the number four out of sorts Brittany Russell's horse and we like the other Brittany Russell horse number six Adelaide Miss both of them are eight to one so don't get mad at me because I am getting value for sure and the number three horse I have to use abscon here I mean she, she just ran so bad last time that can't be true so we're going to give her one more chance of having a bad day we all have bad days um, of course and uh, you know I have mines as well so I'm going to have uh, abscon to be um, my third pick here so there it is in the Albert stalls the ninth race uh, not graded but it is a list it is one more we have to do which is race number seven we'll do that one tomorrow sometime so in the Albert stalls we like the number four out of sorts we love the jock change the Louis Saez should come running should get a golden ride should get a rocking chair ride should just be a beautiful thing for Brittany having Louis Saez up on out of sorts and of course you know we love the other uh, Brittany Russell horse Adelaide missed the number six who is the engine and should get clear now I believe Amiche the number eight is going to try to go with her as well but I think she's inside Adelaide's miss 
the number six is inside the eight and should turn into the bin first. So we like four, six, six, four. And our third pick, we have to give Ascon another shot here. Let me know what you think uh, in the Albert B. Stalls ninth race for Phillies and Mares, four year olds and up. Going to Marlins 16 for 100,000. Big day at fairgrounds. Let's hope the weather holds up and we should be over there you know, doing our thing. We're going to put together an all-states pick for. As always, four, six, three, in that order. That's what we love. Tell us what you like. Please comment. And most of all, stay classy in everything you do. And if the people go low, you keep it 100. You go high. Talk to y'all.